The lecture provides aspects to be considered for transportation and placing of concrete. Objective of transportation. After the concrete is produced, it needs to be transported to the desired location. While transporting the liquid mixture, ensure that the water cement ratio, slump, air content, and homogeneity of mixture are not modified from their intended states. Prevent segregation of the mix. Avoid reducing the workability of the mix. Ensure concrete placed within initial setting time. Factors affecting choice of transportation. Site, ground and weather conditions, type of soil, temperature, quantum of work, vertical and horizontal distance to be covered, height of discharge of mix, concrete specification related to mix type, aggregate size, and required workability, availability of transportation equipment. Modes of placing. There are several modes of placing of concrete mixes available. They can be broadly classified as fully manual, semi-manual and semi-mechanized, fully mechanized, fully manual. In this method, concrete is transported by head load and gamelous or by wheelbarrows. Care should be taken that proper passage for workers and appropriate staging is provided. This would help in transportation of mixture quickly, safely and comfortably. A proper walkway on slab might also be required over reinforcement. If this is not provided, it might lead to shifting of reinforcement or pressing of the reinforcement, while moving on top of it, reducing effective depth or cover of the slabs. Semi-manual mode. In case of multi-story building, the concrete mix is generally transported horizontally by manual means, vertically by mechanical means such as a hoist or cranes. Horizontal movement takes place twice, at ground level and at slab level. Workers tend to have a high slum mix for ease of placing. Care should be taken to give adequate slopes to the chutes required for unloading the material from the hoist on to the platform. In manual or semi-manual mode, ensure worker crew size is adequate to meet the required time to place concrete effectively. Fully mechanized. This method is rapidly increasing because of availability on rent from most of the ready mix vendors. Types of equipment are used for placing of concrete, are transit mixtures, concrete pumps and cranes. Transit mixer, it is a truck, with a rotating mixing drum, meant for transporting concrete from concrete batching plant directly to the place where it is to be poured. Concrete pumps, these systems have a special advantage of transporting concrete, both horizontally and vertically in one go. The pumps are available in different forms, and have a wide range of capacities and pressure. Crane and Bucket This equipment is suitable for high-rise structure. Crane is a versatile equipment which can handle concrete, steel, form work, and other items required for construction. Concrete transportation can take place both vertically and horizontally. Precautions in transportation. Ensure the concrete mix is transported within the initial setting time of cement. The total time, including mixing, transporting, placing and compacting concrete, should not take more than 90 minutes, in any case. No water shall be added while transportation or placing. The mix design should account for water losses due to evaporation. Labor involved in transportation can be considerable. Plan to have crew size should be as low as possible. Segregation, the mixture should be agitated continuously to prevent ingredient separation. Placing of concrete, preparation precautions. Improper placement of concrete and inadequate planning will result in concrete defects. Factors to be considered for placing concrete are quantum of concrete, type of structure, crew size and equipment availability form work design, weather conditions, and safety precautions to be taken. Placing of concrete, checklist. Form work should be rechecked, for adequate bracing, proper elevations, and alignment. Reinforcement should be checked for proper clearance and spacing. Form work should be properly oiled for easy day shattering. Alignment, check center line, plumb of respective column and beam to be cast. Precautions while placing of concrete. 
Height of placement, do not throw concrete from height not more than 1.5 meters to avoid segregation. A poor card should be compiled diligently. Ensure quality checklists for form work, and reinforcement have been filled. Adequate manpower and equipment to handle the pore size is available along with sufficient number of vibrators and other tools. Concrete should be placed in layers, and compacted before next layer is placed. Thickness of concrete layers should be 15 to 30 cm for reinforced concrete and 45 cm for mass concrete. Concrete must be placed in layers, in such a manner, it does not produce cold joints and there is no distinct separation of layers. It should not be placed in large heaps, or in sloping layers. There should not be more than 30 minutes pour interval between the two layers. Spreading concrete by using needle vibrators should be avoided. Concrete placing and compaction should be simultaneous, and considered as two separate activities, and planned separately. Ensure, top level of surface is maintained. Bleeding should be avoided. Avoid excessive poker vibration. For walls, a narrow formwork pause, provide platforms to reach each side or corner of the structure. In monsoon, take extra care to avoid muddy boots, tools and tackles, from contacting fresh concrete. For large paws, ensure carpenters are continuously checking form work from getting displaced. In case movement of form work, props, and support is found, immediately make adjustments and provide additional support to the weak joints. Work should be stopped till necessary precautions are taken. Work should be stopped till necessary precautions are taken. In warm weather, ensure proper hydration of workers. Ensure curing begins immediately after setting of concrete. In summers, plan placing during mornings, or late evenings. Placing by chutes. Concrete should move without segregation. The slope of the chute shall not be less than 1 vertical to 3 horizontal, nor more than 1 vertical to 2 horizontal. No water shall be added at any point of the chute system to facilitate movement of concrete. Use drop chutes, if vertical drops are higher than 1.5 meters. Chute should be mobile enough, for concrete to be placed directly at every corners. Cleanliness while placing concrete using bucket, the gate should be easily operable. Avoid swinging bucket over workers and freshly finished concrete. Clean all the tools and tackles with fresh water, including mixer machines, drums, ghamelas, wheelbarrows, pipelines, etc., after placing is completed.